so uh, extracting metals from ores most metals that we use are found with other elements as compounds in ores these metals must be extracted from the ores before they can be made useful so what it means is metals are always the metals that we want which are useful are always com uh, combined with other substances and we call it as ores and it is of no use because those ores contains impurities in it and therefore those ores or metals we cannot use which are in the form of ore or compounds so our work is to extract this metals that means take out this metals and make purify it and then use it so that is the purpose of falling extracting or uh, making extracting metals from the ores so let's go and read it so the method of extraction which is most appropriate depends on the reactivity of the metal being extracted this can be discovered using the reactivity series so if you look at the reactivity series you we can have an idea how we can extract this metals so uh, metals above carbon in the reactivity series must be extracted using electrolysis because they are more reactive than carbon and therefore we cannot reduce them by using carbon we can re reduce them by uh, we, we can reduce iron by it we can reduce zinc by it what we saw but we cannot reduce uh, aluminium so we have to do a new process and you all know this process that is electrolysis by passing electric current so metals above carbon in the reactivity series must be extracted using electrolysis you all know what electrolysis is but still you can write down the definition so electrolysis is a process that uses electricity to separate the element in a compound electrolysis is expensive and so it is only used to extract metals that cannot be extracted in other ways so uh, it, what it says us that electrolysis is a very expensive process and we use it only when we get a profit and when we can get a metal that we cannot take out from the ore by any other method we do electrolysis so that's why we are doing electrolysis that's why we are passing electricity to separate the element from the compound i hope you have understood this so when we look at aluminium it's a very reactive metal that is found in the ore bauxite combined with oxygen as aluminium oxide so what does electrolysis do it breaks down the aluminium oxide into aluminium and oxygen as the aluminium loses oxygen reduction takes place and we get aluminium so the overall equation word equation will be like this so electrolysis involves breaking down ionic substances into simpler substances using electricity an ionic substance contains charged particles called ions an ion is an atom that has gained or lost electrons and so carries a positive or negative charge which is shown after its formula so i'm sure you all remember the cations and the anions 
cations are positive and anions are negative cations are formed by the metals positive electrons are formed by the metals when they lose electrons and negative ions are formed by the non metals when they gain electron so they are charged particles so over here aluminum loses three electrons and then forms aluminum ion it becomes al3 plus so ions with a positive charge have lost electrons and ions with a negative charge have gained electrons so your aluminum has lost three electrons loses three electrons and therefore it is known as aluminum ion or we also call it as cation they are positive ions so in electrolysis the ionic substance must be dissolved in water or melted so that the ions are free to move now in electrolysis the substance that the current passes through and splits up is called electrolyte so we use a electrolyte in electrolysis for example look over here so if electrolyte is electrolysis contains positive and negative ions what happens to these ions during electrolysis so if you look very carefully negative move to the positive negative ions will move towards the positive and they lose electrons and this is known as oxidation and the positive ions move towards the negative electrode and gain electron and this is known as reduction so oil ring this sentence uh, this word you have to remember o i l r i g o i l means oxidation is loss of electron and r i g means reduction is gain of electron so it is like this so if you look at this oxidation is loss of electron and reduction is gain of electron so equation written to show what happens to electron during oxidation and reduction are called half equation for example magnesium plus oxygen will give you magnesium oxide so in the reactant side and the product side two sides are there so over here magnesium will lose two electrons and therefore it oxidation takes place and in the product side oxygen will gain electrons and reduction will take place so loss of electron is oxidation and gain of electron is reduction now extracting aluminum aluminum let's concentrate now in aluminum and then try to understand it yeah very you are a good man so let's concentrate now aluminum is one of the most useful metals in the world and electrolysis is used to extract aluminum from its ore why is it not possible to extract aluminum by heating its ore with carbon why because aluminum is more reactive than carbon so over here we'll see aluminum ore that is known as bauxite is more reactive than carbon and has a very high melting point that is 2050 degree celsius now in electrolysis the ore is dissolved in a compound called cryolite i am sure you remember when i taught you about what cryolite is so cryolite is na3al f6 which effectively lowers the melting point to 1000 degrees celsius so that's what cryolite will do it will decrease the melting point of uh, that is of bauxite ore and therefore we have to use less uh, powerful ways to convert aluminum ore into uh, the uh, through the process of electrolysis 
that means break down aluminium oxide into pure alumina. So this is how the reaction goes on. Let's move on. Now look at the reaction very carefully now. Try to understand this. Now this you can't get in your PowerPoint, so you have to copy the stuff when I tell you. Not now, but I'll tell you when to copy. So this is the whole procedure, how aluminium is extracted by electrolysis. So let's concentrate and understand this. So uh, bauxite is the main ore of aluminium. That means we can take out aluminium through bauxite. So this ore consists mainly of aluminium oxide. Now let's see what happens. Stage one. Carefully observe, you will see the electrolysis of aluminium oxide takes place in a steel tank lined with graphite. The lining is the negative electrode. So the negative electrode is the lining which is made of graphite. And graphite blocks which hang over the tank are the positive electrode. So this on the top are the positive electrode and the lining that is inside the electrolysis tank is the negative electrode. Now stage two. Aluminium oxide is dissolved in molten cryolite. So we dissolve the whole aluminium oxide in molten cryolite. So that is the work of cryolite. It decreases the melting point of aluminium oxide. So aluminium ions and oxygen ions become free to move. They start moving. So what happens when a current is passed through this electrolyte? Let's see what happens when we pass current through this. When the current is switched on, the molten aluminium forms at the negative electrode at the bottom of the tank and oxygen gas forms at the positive electrode. The positive I, aluminium ions are attracted to the negative electrode and from there they will gain electrons and become aluminium metal atoms forming liquid metal at the bottom of the tank this is called reduction so this is what happens aluminium ions will go to the negative electrode they'll gain electrons and become aluminium atoms and the liquid will go we can take it down from the bottom actually what is this process this is when they gain electron it is known as reduction Now, look at the diagram first, what is happening. So here what we see is the negative oxygen ions, they will be attracted to the positive electrode and there they will lose electrons. Naturally, when they lose electron, we call it as oxidation. So they lose electron and become oxygen atom which forms oxygen molecules and are given off as gas. This is oxidation. So this is how oxygen atoms are formed and molecules are formed. Now, in this condition, oxygen formed at the positive electrode reacts with graphite. So ox all the oxygen atoms will start reacting with the, uh, not atoms, but molecules of oxygen, O2, will start reacting with the carbon of the positive electrode and the graphite gradually weighs off. What will happen? It will form carbon dioxide and therefore the graphite weighs off. That means they are used up, eaten up by forming carbon dioxide and these electrodes eventually have to be replaced. We have to put new electrodes to start the reaction again. This is the last stage. Look carefully what is happening. Look at the diagram. So here what we see is the surface is the coolest part of the hot molten electrolyte and at this lower portion. 
and a crust of aluminium oxide forms here. And the pure molten aluminium formed at the bottom of the tank is a runoff at the interval. So at times what happens? We take it out from this. Look at the diagram once more how what is happening here at the bottom you can see aluminium can be taken out. So this is your whole process of extraction of aluminium by electrolysis.